Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Colorama Hypnos Born Pretty Plates, the Overprint, Overprint Plate L001 and another plate, I don't know. I started off with IMK Peel Ease as my base coat and this is a beautiful like grayish silver polish but it does have like all these like prismatic colors like sh micro tiny micro shimmers in it. It's just really unusual. Now just so you know, I did mess up my pinky nail over there. I don't know what I did, but I will end up redoing that one after I get done. So here goes that second coat of Hypnos. It's got a pretty good formula. I'm not having any trouble with it really. Of course, you know, with each brand you have to relearn how to load the brush, how much polish to put on it. Hi Woody, how you doing? He's back again. So there we go. We've got our two coats going. And now I'm going to top it with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. I'm going to get this to dry down and seal it up. Get it smooth so we can do some stamping. I know it's not like a normal color for me. It's kind of eh. But I do really like it. It's really pretty in the sunshine. So there's a swatch photo of of it all on its own. I'll be using BPL050 and I'll be using this color club from Walmart and this one is Trick of the Trade. I've got my Queen stamper and scraper out. This was sent to me by a friend so that is why I'm using it today. Plus my friend Chase just got him one and used it and he loved it so I knew I had to break mine out. I do know I'm gonna have another friend that's a little mad at me for using a Queen product but you know, if you got it in your collection, use it. So I'm using this image, and this is kind of going to be like some background stamping. I am going to do something on a couple of accent nails, but this is just more background, just for the background. And you can't really see it on my nails like in this video, but in my swatch photo, you'll be able to see it. And here's that overprint L001 plate, and I'll be using Sally Hansen Polishes White. Carnation Pink, and this was Razzmatazz, and I'm going to do some layering with these three. Now in hindsight, I think I should have gone the opposite way. I should have started with the little piece and then built around it, but I, you know, this crazy girl, just she sits down to play and she just gets going on it. So I used the white as my first ring, and then this second ring is going to be the light pink and then that last one is going to be that more red color, reddy pink, raspberry looking color. So this Queen Stamper is working great and this is one that came from Walmart. So there we go, we got that done. A friend of mine picked it up and sent it to me. I've decided since the colors aren't really popping, I'm going to go in and do another round and just stamp kind of like, I don't know, triple stamping, double stamping. I'm just going over those same images with the same colors and, you know, kind of offsetting them a little bit. Try to just bulk it up a little bit. Maybe make it a little more looking like a rose. I am still learning how to play with these plates, so, you know, we will get there one day. I do really enjoy them. I think they're awesome, but, you know, learning curve. So I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and clean up the excess. You guys will have to ignore my flaky, crunchy fingers. I don't know what's going on with the skin around all my fingers. They're just all eat up. I have to start paying attention to the acetone usage and the um, making sure I use oil and lotion more often. So I'm cleaning up a little bit more with some of the acetone. Speaking of acetone, making sure to get up under my fingernail right there. So I did that image on my thumb and my pinky. I didn't want to just go too crazy. So I'm going to top it with the Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Seal it in. And I've noticed that if I, you know, add a generous amount of this, I don't have any smudging or smearing with my stamping. Just kind of looks glossy. And Woody's back. Hi, Woody. He's a 
busy boy. So there we go. So there is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself.